Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today we will be discussing about numbers Okay, so just simply numbers, no other operations Okay, and we will just be um, classifying numbers into different um, groups Okay, so our main group that we will discuss for today is called the real numbers Okay, so basically po, mangyayari dito We will just simply identify what are the different kinds of real numbers Okay, and uh, um on this case, um, we will just give it a specific term, with meaning the subsets of a real number of real numbers. Okay, so basically, po, a real number is a number that exists. Okay, numbers that exist. So meaning every number that you could uh, that you know or could ever exist. Na of course, um, that that is not part ng mga um, numbers na hindi natin kayang kunin. Okay, those are your real numbers. So just as just for you to have an idea ano ba bakit ba nagiging hindi totoo or imaginary yung numbers is like this. For example, meron tayong square root ng square root, square root ng 4, okay? Remember in the square root po, ang ginagawa natin, we are looking for a number that when we multiply twice to itself, the answer will be the base number na nasa loob which is 4. So we have 2 times 2 and then we have negative 2 times negative 2 so it's the answer would always be positive okay bakit kasi of course if you multiply with the same sign and of course considering the rule of finding the square root then you, it would always be positive so if you will be asked what is the square root of negative 4 so isipin mo what are the numbers that when I multiply twice to itself the answer will be negative 4. So, I can say that's 2 times 2. Pero 2 times 2 is positive. Eh, hindi siya negative. Then, we have negative 2 times negative 2. The answer is still positive. Okay? But it's not, ne ang kailangan natin is negative. But the thing is, the only way that you can get a negative number is by multiplying 2 times negative 2. Which is of, of course correct kasi may negative 4. Pero remember, the rule of getting the square root is for you to get a number multiplied twice to itself positive 1 I uh, positive 2 is not negative 2 so therefore it's not itself so therefore um, we can assume that the square root of 4 is imaginary or it can never exist in the planes of mathematics so this is imaginary or may symbol tayo yung i okay so at least you have a rough concept of the thing that we call the real numbers and imaginary numbers. So these are some of these are this is one the only number that cannot exist the square root of negative numbers. Okay. So going back here. Okay. So now we have the concept of real numbers. We will go with the sub groups or subsets of the real numbers. Okay. The very first one is the Q the q that we are using or this is called the rational numbers okay? now rational numbers by definition po in mathematics these are numbers that can be expressed in the form of p over q okay wherein p and q are elements of real numbers so meaning yung p and q they are of course numbers napasok lang doon sa real numbers they can never be any imaginary numbers okay and at the same time meron tayong isa pang condition q is not equal to 0 bakit po kasi kapag kaya nang equal to 0 remember in mathematics we cannot divide by 0 okay if we divide by 0 that answer does not exist okay or undefined so may restrict restriction lang tayo na bawal maging 0 c q Okay, so those are rational numbers. So basically, class rational numbers are all numbers that can be expressed in fraction form. Meaning, po. Meaning. So I can express my given in fraction. So the very first example nito is of course a fraction. One half is a rational number. Bakit? Ang p mo jan is equal to one and ang q mo is equal to two. And then, of course, it's one half. Another example. Say we have 0 0.5. 
0.5, even though that this one is known as a decimal, 0.5 can be expressed as a fraction in the form of, kung babasahin natin yung 0.5, that is equals to 5 tenths. 5 over 10 or simply 1 half. Wherein ang P mo could be equals to 5 or 1, and ang Q mo is equals to 2 or 10. Okay? So, yan yung um, rational numbers. Another one, say we have a whole number. Whole number, you're familiar. Say we have 4. 4 can be equals to 4 over 1, right? Or it can also be equals to 8 over 2. Long as it is a fraction, then therefore, it's a rational number. So, ang P mo dito is of course 4. And ang Q mo is of course um, simply 1. Or pwede rin namang ang P mo is 8. And the Q mo is 2. Okay? Long as again, it can be expressed as a fraction, then therefore, this is a rational number. Okay? But we have one restriction again. The Q must not be equals to 0. So we must be very careful with that. Okay? So the next one, I hope it's a little bit clear lang. Basta nagigis yung fraction. Okay? The next one that we will discuss para tuloy-tuloy tayo dun sa side lang muna ng rational numbers is this symbol na may kita na letter Z. Okay? So, we have that letter Z. And yung letter Z na yan is actually just it, maarting I actually. Okay? And this one is called the integers. Okay? So, basically, class, itong integers, this is the whole number part. Okay? So, may mga, may mga cases or you will see in some um, books na ang, we have also whole numbers and also integers pero I just group it into integers kasi by definition po okay ang integers would be a whole number then okay so integers are just simply numbers composed of a positive and a negative component so meron siyang positive numbers meron din siyang negative numbers okay so we have positive and negative numbers and they are whole numbers so meaning all fractions and decimal will belong to the general group which is of course the rational numbers but below it would be what you call the whole numbers which are the integers okay so kasama dito of course is zero so mga examples po ng mga integers would be we have negative one integer we have negative two we have zero we have um positive one we have negative 100 and so on Okay, basta, long as it is a whole number, and of course, it has a positive or negative sign, of course, the special one is a zero, then it's under an integer. Okay? Next one, under the integers. I hope integers is a little bit easier, kasi plus or minus lang naman siya. Okay? The next one is the, in the innermost circle, is called the n. Ang n na yan. Or that n is also known as your, you will notice, class, most of the symbols I write, are made from na parang meron siyang block sa gitna okay or the bar this co one is called the natural numbers okay so natural numbers are numbers na ginagamit even before yung mga noong araw okay that's why it's called the natural number number is because um this is the one being used to count lang talaga Okay, to count. For example, you see four chairs, then you can count one, two, three, four. Okay, use for counting. Okay, and you cannot count them negative. For example, can you express a negative two chairs in real life? Okay, so wala namang ganun. So, natural numbers are just simply all the positive numbers. Okay, and this is used for counting. Okay, so we have, of course, meron din tayo ditong zero. So we can express 0, but we cannot express negative. So we have 0, 1, 2. Sorry, let me use my other color. We can have 0, 1, 2, 3. And we cannot have negative numbers up until positive infinity. Okay? Hanggang walang hanggan. We have 1 million and so on. Okay? So those would be your, um, for the rational part. Now, of course, we have also yung irrational part. So, yun yung ginagamit ating symbol is yung ating Q uh, prime. Okay? This one is called the irrational 
numbers. Okay? So irrational numbers class are just simply numbers that you cannot express as p over q. Hindi siya pwede maging p over q. So it cannot be. Or just by definition, this is actually real. Irrational numbers are just simply are numbers that are numbers that are not rational. So, numbers that you cannot express in fraction form. So, what are the examples of those numbers? Those numbers are actually um, non-terminating. And, um, I think it's also non-repeating. Okay? Non-repeating. Decimals. They are non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Ibig sabihin, hindi natatapos. So, ibig sabihin, 0 0.33159876662311 and so on. Non-terminating, hindi natatapos. And non-repeating meaning, it's not repeating. Walang pattern. So, because there are some decimals that we can say that it's 0 0.25, 25, 25. This one can be expressed as a fraction. Yes. Rational po ito. This is rational. Okay? But there are cases like we have 0 0.11239567833 and so on. Okay? This one is irrational. Kasi if and only if it's not repeating and it's non-terminating, then it is rational. So, ano bang mga examples ng numbers like this? Okay? We, ang mga examples natin yan would be some of the pero not everything po ah some of the okay, square roots that are not exact. Okay? So, if you try to get the square root of 2, the square root of 3, and so on, these are actually known as non-terminating and non repeating they are both like that meaning class if you try in the calculator or if you try in a supercomputer okay you cannot search for the end of this given decimal or if the, of this given number okay so again pag hinanap nyo po yung value ng square root of 2 or yung square root ng 3 value so far wala value of the square root of 2 you can never find that okay wala pa pong sagot dyan e up until now okay po the value of the square root of 2 and if, and if you would um um if you would try to maybe search for that online okay so there are actually ano um some fun facts when it comes to the square root of 2 okay Kasi, um, for example, um, in 1997, okay, there was this, um, I think, Japanese ata to, okay, na, that, that they did, they did try to calculate for the, um, value of square root of 2, and the decimal place that they have arrived with is, for the square root of 2, class, ha? how many decimals po, that would be, um, 137 billion, 438 uh, million 953,444 take note class ganyang kahaba yung decimal that they have computed for the square root of 2 and take note hindi pa po yan natatapos up until now okay so they are non-terminating and non-repeating so these are your irrational numbers long as it is not expressed or it cannot be expressed as a um, as a rational number wherein of, of course dapat fraction then it's irrational okay so there are only a handful of this I mean not a handful a lot din naman okay a lot din and it's mainly when it comes to square roots okay mainly when it comes to square roots of um, non-perfect square numbers okay so these are your groups of uh, I mean the subsets of real numbers okay so of course please take a note of our symbol okay ang ginagamit po natin na symbol for this one is this in this screen ito atong nasa screen na nakita niyo okay ito yung ginagamit natin na symbol 
And there are also cases class na may mga iba rin tayo ginagamit na symbols that I did not include it here. We also have the C for the counting numbers. We also have the W for the whole numbers. Sorry. Whole numbers. Okay? And there are other kinds of numbers, pero this one is the, ve the very important ones that you need to know. Okay? Kasi meron din naman tayong subgroup na fractions. Meron tayong decimals. When I actually don't know the symbol for these things. Okay? But this would be the ones that is very important to you guys. So please remember this one. And of course, you can go back to our topic in our video for you to clarify if you have any other questions. Okay? So again, that would be it, class. The subsets of real numbers. Just take a note of the following figure. And thank you for listening, everyone. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.